Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big round of applause to the two finalists, Rajni Gandha Chivas and Sona Polo, the two finalists of the Yes Bank Indian Masters 2018. And all the players are set for their introductions. And let me introduce you now to the players of the Sona Polo team. Playing at number one, we have the youngest player on the ground this afternoon, Karthike Singh. Let's have a big round of applause for him. I think he's in class 11. What a nice rider and polo player he's been. He's been groomed into. At number two, Savai Padmanab Singh, also fondly known as Pacho. Savai Padmanab Singh has been having a great polo season all through the last few weeks. At number three, our top professional, Abhimanyu Pathak, plays at a handicap of plus five. And at number four, their main striker and playmaker, Gerardo Massini, a professional player from Argentina, rated at six goals. And now, players of the Rajni Gandha team. For Rajikanda Achievers, at number one in that distinct pink helmet, we have Pranav P.K. Kapoor. A big round of applause for him with the pink bandages on his horse. In the red helmet, our very own Gaurav Segal, who plays at a handicap of plus four. In the black helmet, the very tough Salim Azmi. And the top professional from the United Kingdom playing at number four, Matthew Philip Perry at number four. The two umpires in the white helmet, we have Mr. Julio Bensadon, a professional umpire from Argentina. And in the light grey helmet, one of India's highest rated polo players, Shamshir Ali. The match referee, Lieutenant Colonel Vishal Chauhan taking his place high up over the ground. May I now request His Excellency Sir Dominic Asquith, the High Commissioner of Great Britain, to please step forward, sir. May I also request Mr. Nikhil Sahani, Group President, MNC, Corporate Banking, Government Banking and Strategic Government Advisory, Yes Bank, to please step forward for the ball throw-in. His Excellency Sir Dominic Asquith, the High Commissioner of Great Britain, rolls in the ball to start the championship match. It is Sabai Padmanabh Singh who gets the first touch. Gerardo Massini quickly turns. Massini. Playing at number four for Sona Polo, Sona in black shirts, and we got Rajiganda Chivas in blue shirts. This is Massini being hassled by Salim Asmi. Massini turns towards the left side. Salim, Salim playing a nice looking horse, young horse with a tail which is open. Massini trying for a near side pick up. Gaurav Segal, who's done so well for his side over the past few days. And a sharp turn there by all the players. Pranav Kapoor comes from behind. Pranav wants a strike, he gets it. Pranav Kapoor looking good. Pranav Kapoor and Kartike neck and neck, and a backhander attempted there by Abby Pathak. And the ball turns in favor of Sona once again. But we've got Matthew Perry, Matt Perry, Matt Perry plays at number four for the Rajiganda team. Salim Azmi gets a big bump from Abhimanyu Pathak. Matt Perry, Matthew Perry once again. Ladies and gentlemen, the two top players right in front of you. Let's have some cheering. This is Matt Perry playing at a handicap of six balls. And so is Gerardo Masini. Matt Perry backs the ball. And got Savai Padmanap saying of Jaipur. Padmanap. Padmanap decides to turn. Pacho, look at the way he's shaken all his players to the left side, left the ball for Massini, Massini comes up with a release, releases the ball for his forward, there's Ab Abhimanyu Patak approaching but Matthew Perry checking his horse, keeping Abby away and getting ready for a backhand and no, oh yes he's been hooked by Abby Patak, no signal from the umpires, it's Abby Patak and Matt Perry wins the ball once again and look at that backhander from Massini, it's been intercepted by Pacho, Abby. Abby once again on the ball. Abhimanyu. Salim Azmi. And we have a whistle. PK. PK gets a little bump. And what a long backhander from Massini. It is Matt Perry very quickly anticipating that ball. And he returns the compliments with a nice long backhander of his own once again Massini approaching getting ready for a backhander look at that he backs the ball this time uh, under the tail shot for Karthike Karthike is there and so is Salim Azmi, Abhi Pathak and PK and the ball is now being picked up by Savai Padmanabh Singh this is looking good for Sona Polo but Matt Perry comes from behind and look at the way he just leans out of the saddle keeps his eye close to the ball and he defends takes the ball away from the danger zone but not enough it is the ground is really, really smooth right in front of the stands and Matt Perry asks his players to leave and move up for that pass. Is he going to release the ball? Yes, there comes a lofted shot. But great anticipation by Massini. Massini right over the ball. He's being marked there by Gaurav Segal. Gaurav hooking Massini. Gaurav not letting go. It is still Massini. 
Fernando Masini. Again, being shadowed by Salim Azmi. Masini getting ready. And it's a strong shot straight down the field. Once again, look at the way Matthew Perry indicating to Abhimanyu, get out of the way because I'm going to take a long hit. And he decides to tap the ball towards his right side. It's Matt Perry now approaching the center line. Matt Perry playing at number four for Rajni Ganda Achievers. This is Matt Perry. Look at the pace. Here comes a backhander from Masini. Turns play for the Sona team. A sharp turn there by Abby Patrick. Abby strikes. The ball is going straight and it's approaching the back line. It's going to be a very, very tough angle, but I think the ball is going to win the race. And Polo, and should the scores be tied at the end of six chuckers, this match is going to go into extra time. So a hit and taken there by Matthew Perry. Matt Perry still keeping the ball with himself. He is being marked there by Abhimanyu Patak. Abhimanyu staying close just in case Matt's want to run. No, he releases the ball. He's looking for Padmanar, but the ball has gone right next to the boards and a backhander comes from Massini. Matt Perry once again, the fastest to turn, he'll uh, take the ball with a little tap. Very quick recovery there by Matt Perry. Loses and then regains possession of the ball. Matt. Matt overriding. A backhander by Karthike and a chance there. This is... Savai Padmanabh Singh absolutely unmarked and being pursued by Salim Azmi. It is Padmanabh Singh. Padmanabh going from outside to in. Padmanabh just trying to keep the ball in control. Salim is there to block his progress and the ball goes over the back line and out of play. Ladies and gentlemen, if you recall, I mentioned a while back that the last league match played between Sona Polo and Jindal ended in a scoreline of three goals to two after five chuckers. We hope uh, this game turns out to be a high-scoring match because that is what our spectators want to see. But that doesn't take away anything from the amount of effort which is made by the players. This is Abhimanyu Patak on the ball. He's trying to wait till the forwards get into position. He gives a pass. But Manav is there towards the left side. He cut the ball and he cuts it. Doesn't get too much power. And the ball bounces over the back line. Defending very nicely for Rajiganda Chivas. Matt Perry this time decides to strike the ball towards the stands. He's looking and he finds Gaurav Segal. Gaurav wearing that distinct red helmet. Easy to recognize. Gaurav Segal. Oh, big swing but doesn't make contact. And the ball is left to Matt Perry. Matt comes from behind and Gaurav getting right behind him. Matt Perry. Matt being marked by Abby Partha. Abhimanyu Partha also receiving a whistle from the umpire. Looking very, very surprised. So a spot he awarded from the center of the field and this is called the penalty 5B. This is Matt Perry now approaching the spot. He decides to tap. Along the ground there comes a nice long hit but Patmanab is there. Masini, a lovely tail backhander when a shot is struck under the tail of the horse and the ball changes direction. Lovely strike by Massini and the whips are coming out. It's Massini approaching. Gaurav Segal marking him. He's getting ready for a backhander. What a lovely backhander from Gaurav Segal. Sharp turn of play by Gaurav and it's PK. PK picks it up on the near side. Ball gets left behind. A backhander comes from Padmanab. And look at the pace, ladies and gentlemen. The players are all formed up. Abby struck and there comes a whistle. Another penalty from the spot in favor of Rajiganta. Matt Perry. Again, along the ground, the ball is slowing down. Massini trying to stop, but then Salim Azmi, who gets a touch, he's been hooked and dispossessed by Massini. But the ball is still lying there between the players. The first shooter has been sounded. 20 more seconds of play left. This is Abby Parter who gets away. It's Abby Parter with a shot along the ground. The 15 seconds is going to be a horse race. Look at the way Gaurav Segal is pushing his horse in defense. It is Abby Parter who comes up with a huge off the shot. It's Gaurav Segal now getting ready to give a big bump. And there he comes. Getting ready to defend for Rajiganda. What a strike from Gaurav Segal. And that is the end of the first chuckle. The first chuckle is trying really, really hard to score, but the ball struck the post and stopped right there. And the scoreboard is yet to come to life. Once again, the players moving across at a very, very exciting pace. And a backhander from Salim Azmi and being picked up by Matthew Perry. 
Matthew and Abby Patak. Abby gets a nice lofted shot towards the scoreboard. Sabai Padmanabh Singh approaching. Controls the ball with a cut shot. Matt Perry once again is defense. It looks like Matt Perry is a one-man defense army for the Rajnikanda team. Padmanabh still with the ball. Padmanabh Singh. Padmanabh. And a backhander from Salim Azmi. Matt Perry now in attack from defense to attack. Ball gets left behind. Abby leaves it for Massini. Massini is asking his players to move up. And there comes a pass to Savai Padmanabh Singh. The ball is racing towards the back line. Padmanabh will try and back the ball in. He backs the ball. It bounces off PK's horse and goes over the back line. Perry decides to hit the ball towards his right side. Perry and this time changes direction entirely with a shot towards his left and it's Gaurav Segal now approaching. Gaurav strikes, what a lovely strike and look at the way that horse is eating up the miles on the field. It's Gaurav Segal for Rajiv and Achievers. It's a lovely strike, he's being followed by PK. Gaurav Segal now setting up his horse for the final hit. Gaurav Segal still keeping a bouncing ball in control. PK strikes, the ball is slowing down and Massini says I'm going to take on now. It is Massini and there comes a counter attack. There comes a counter attack from Sona Polo. But once again, you've got Matt Perry in defense. A big backhand attempted, but doesn't make contact. Another one this time from Gorov Segal. Gorov strikes without fail. Massini comes back on the ball. Massini now hits it up. And the ball almost strikes Salim Azmi. That must have hurt. A lot of Volini is going to be used this evening. Massini, Massini strikes towards the boards. And a big bump to Matt Perry. PK. PK backs. They're right in front of the stands, ladies and gentlemen. Abby Pathak. Abby. Gaurav Segal. Lovely backhander once again from Gaurav Segal. Gaurav is timing the ball really nicely. Massini getting ready. Under pressure to back the ball. Backs he does. And we've got another shot coming from Pranav Kapoor. Yet another one being attempted by Massini. Massini keeping the ball in control. It is Massini. Massini with space. And this time he strikes. It's a good looking shot from Gerardo Massini. PK is there. It's a tough angle. PK backs the ball in defense for Rajni Ganda. What great work by these young players. Massini is striking the ball hard. But finds PK. Backhander and turns. This time comes the next shot again towards the goal mouth. But the ball is... Crossing the center line, PK will take it forward and takes it forward. PK, backhander attempted by Karthike, doesn't make contact, and it is now Matthew Perry. Matthew releases the ball. PK is there, so is Salim Azmi. Salim hooked there by Savai Padmanabh, and you have Abhimanyu Pathak. Abhimanyu getting a few bumps from Gaurav Segal, but Abhimanyu is in possession, leaves it for Massini. Good tandem work between Massini and Abhi Patak. Another backhander from Pranav. Salim. Matthew and Pacho this time. Matthew Perry takes the ball up and we have a whistle and that's going to be a penalty in favor of Sona Polo. Looks like the ball is heading towards the 40 yard mark. It's come to life. Very, very committed people. Very, very committed Savars, JCOs and officers of the 61st Cavalry who play a crucial role in coordinating Polo in Delhi. So the red flag goes up of that penalty and we have the first goal coming on the scoreboard for Sona Polo. To the center line and start attacking in the opposite direction. So our spectators who are new to the sport might be a little confused to begin with. But that's okay. Even people who start playing polo, younger players, newer players are also confused initially. Because after every goal is scored, you change directions and start attacking in the opposite direction. Why does that happen? We'll tell you in a short while from now. Right now, it is Matt Perry in possession. Gaurav Segal next to him. Abby Pathak moving up in defense. There he is. Gerardo Massini. Gaurav 
Sagal. Gaurav Sagal still tapping. Leaves it for Perry. Perry gets a big bump from Abhimanyu Pathak. Abhi Pathak has got space in front of him. Salim Azmi now. Salim trying to defend and dispossesses Abhimanyu. Massini is there. Pranav Kapoor right next to him. Matthew Perry wins the ball. It is Matt Perry. Absolutely unmarked. Abhimanyu Pathak coming from behind. Matt Perry with a bouncing ball. Matt Perry loses possession. Abhi Pathak backs the ball. And once again, play turns for Sona Polo. And it is Masini this time. Only Salim Azmi ready to defend for Rajni Gandha. Masini strike the ball. is flying towards the far deep corner of the field. And look at the way the two players fighting out. Masini strikes a belly shot. Salim trying really, really hard. He, he just in time, really. Over the back line, and he tried his best to center the ball. Play coming towards the grandstand. Please be watchful, ladies and gentlemen. The first hooter has been sounded. This is Salim Azmi now. Salim strikes. Pacho is there. Pacho. Pacho for a backhander. And Salim strikes again for Rajni Gandha Achievers. Do they have a chance with just about 10 seconds of play left? It is PK who strikes. PK is being marked by Pacho. Look at the way they're pressing the There's a big bump coming from Padmanabh. And the ball goes over the back line. End of chakra number two. We play begins for chakra number three. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to remind you this is a six chakra match and a long hit from Massini. Abhi Pathak is getting ready. And there he comes on the ball, but Matt Perry trying to turn, and it is Abby who pinches the ball. Abby Pathak, Matthew Perry, Scott PK trying for a near side. The ball has now been picked up by Pacho, and PK getting ready to defend with the backhander. Doesn't manage to make contact. It's Patanab who picks it up. Patanab in attack for Sona Polo. Matthew Perry overrides, and it is Abby Pathak. Salim Azmi right in front. Abby has got a touch. They're all together in front of the goal post. The goal judge has taken time and the flag is being waved. On the board now for Sona Polo. Which remains unchanged for over 150 years. And that is, you cannot hold a polo stick in your left hand and play. We're going to tell you all about that. Play now resumes with Pacho. Comes up with a nice lofted backhander. He finds Massini. Is Sona Polo coming up with another attack. Massini strikes the ball along the field. He's being marked with Matt by Matthew Perry on his left side. Massini, backhander from Massini. The ball gets stuck in the turf. There comes Gaurav Segal. Gaurav Segal. Oh, that was so, so dangerous. A call. A spot hit being taken by Matt Perry. Matthew Perry decides to tap the ball. He's playing at number four for Rajni Gandha achievers who are yet to open their account. We are in the third chakra of this six chakra match. A backhander struck by Abhi Pathak. We have no signal from the umpire. And Gaurav Segal turns with the ball. Abhi Pathak once again pinches the ball. That ball gets a little kick. He's been hooked there by, Ab by Matthew. Matthew Perry. Matt Perry. Let's have some cheering, ladies and gentlemen. They are right in front of you. And it is Matt Perry who strikes the ball from the near side. Abhimanyu, a backhander. You're going to see some pace now. It's, a, it's Massini. Massini, that's a lofted shot from Gerardo Massini. Look at that horse bounding across the field. It's Sona Polo in attack with Gerardo Massini in control of the ball. He's going a little wide. Massini, Massini taps, but the ball still stays wide. Surely Rajni Gandha would like to score a couple now. We are approaching half time. Rajni Gandha yet to score. That's a testimony to the tremendous defensive work being done by the Sona people. Another backhander from Massini this time. The ball has been picked up by Gaurav Segal with the next shot. Matt Perry. Matt Perry increasing pace. Massini again backs the ball. The ball takes a deflection and lands right in front of Abhimanyu Patak. Abhimanyu backs it. Karthike comes on the ball now. Karthike tapping. Kartike, youngest player of Sona Polo tapping and the ball gets left behind for Matt Perry. Gaurav Segal, Gaurav Segal on the ball now. Gaurav strikes, it's a nice cut shot from Gaurav Segal right in front of Matt Perry. Matt picks it up on the near side and once again a pair is approaching the grandstand. It's Padmanabh and Matt Perry. Let's have some cheering as Pacho checking his horse. Pacho getting ready. Ready, turn. Yes, he's got space but he leaves the ball and it's Matt Perry. Ah! 
Masini comes from behind. Masini is trying to go. Takes a little deflection. Got a cycle. Picks it up for Rajni Gandha. Another deflection from a horse. And the ball keeps changing direction. That's how Savai Padmanabh sitting on the ball now. Padmanabh. Padmanabh asking his players to move up. Clears the ball from the group. But these forwards are not there. And Salim Azmi checking his horse. Even as Masini races past. Masini trying to take the ball forward. Pacho and Perry now. Pacho. Oh, that's in fact Kartike. Kartike being followed by Padmanabh. Kartike, lovely backhander from Kartike. Masini. Masini. Again, it is Masini. Gets a little touch from Salim Azmi. Salim. Salim backs the ball. Perry. Abby Parter comes across Matthew Perry. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, play resumes. And it is Padmanab now checking his horse. Padmanab with Gaurav Segal right next to him. Padmanab with a nice little backhander turns play for Sonapolo. And look at the contact being made between these players. A backhander this time from Pranav Kapoor turns play. But the ball is frozen to Padmanab. Padmanab cuts the ball nicely towards the scoreboard. Gaurav Segal is pushing his horse hard. Once again the players look at the amount of contact being made between these players. So many pumps and ride offs. And yet, the scoreboard doesn't show anything for Raji Gandha achievers so far. Masini strikes and the ball is slowing down in front of Salim. Salim misses that backhander. We've got Matthew Perry. Matthew comes and backs the ball. And that is a foul 40-yard penalty in favor of Sona Polo. Gerardo Masini and a slow canter. Along the ground, Matthew Perry trying very hard to stop the ball. Has he managed? And he has. And that is a safety now. Is it a safety? I heard a whistle. Yes, it is. Sona Polo. It's a hit from the 60-yard mark because the ball went over the back line after taking a defender's stick. Another equivalent of a corner in football like we keep reminding our spectators. And this time it's going to be Abhimanyu Pathak. Abby strikes, it's a lofted shot, but it's slowing down. Has it gone through? Yes, it has. Because that ball was uh, dying down and slowing down after a couple of bounces, but it had enough pace to go through the like that in a 14 goal game. Approaching half time, three goals to nil. Savai Patmanap Singh. Pacho, as we call him. Salim Azmi. Salim backs the ball. Masini, another cracking shot from Masini. The ball flying a little wide to the right. But you've got Pacho. Pacho strikes a next shot. And that is a spectacular goal. What a strike from Savai Patmanap Singh. Goal number four. Right, ladies and gentlemen, play about to start for Chakra number four. Let's have a big round of applause. Both the teams in front of you and play begins. From right in front of the grandstand, it's Masini in possession for Sona Polo. What a domination of the scoreline so far. Four goals to nil. Masini strikes. The ball is moving towards its target. Padmanabh is there. Padmanabh gets a big bump from Gaurav Segal. The ball is moving still in the right direction for Sona Polo. Gaurav Segal trying hard. Padmanabh has a chance there. He's going to come up with the next goal for Sona Polo. No. Gaurav Segal once again defending just in time for Rajni Gandha as the ball goes over the back line. Is that a safety? <coughs> New Patak to strike. Four goals to nil. Sona Polo all the way so far. Abby strikes. It takes a few bounces. It's slowing down. It's been stopped. Massini strikes. The ball is still there. And Gaurav Segal with a backhander. Defense for his team. Pranav Kapoor now. Pranav. Pranav strikes. Doesn't hit it cleanly. And players turning around. Gaurav Segal once again with a backhander. Turns play for his team. Abby Pathak decides to strike the ball. It gets left behind. And we have a whistle. Matthew Perry going for a big hit along the ground. Slowing down now. PK is there. PK. PK has got a chance. The ball is bouncing wildly and that ball has got enough pace. There comes Massini in front of PK. Everything happening. The ball going a little wide. No signal. Quick hit in taken by Massini. Massini being marked by Gaurav Segal slightly to his front. Gaurav being watchful. 
not allowing Massini to make a run by himself, forcing Massini to come up with that long shot, and he's waiting for his forward. Scott Pinge is there, but Matthew Perry, Matthew trying to take the ball forward, and a nice neck shot by PK. The ball reaches Perry. Perry strikes. Massini is there in defense for Sona. Massini backs the ball, and a sharp turn there by Pacho. Pacho now. Pacho coming towards the grandstand. Watch for ladies and gentlemen when the comes towards you. Players coming for a bounce. Let's have some cheering. Pacho right in front of you. It is Padmana. Padmana strikes in a nice lofted shot towards the center of the field. There's Abhimanyu Patek approaching and so is Matthew Perry in defense. Massini going for a near side pickup. Players overriding. Gaurav Segal comes from there and backs the ball. And PK a little to the far side. Again, it's Padmana. Padmana tries for a next shot. Doesn't manage to get hold of it. He's going for a backhander now. Just keeping PK to his left. It is Padmana. Padmanab, hooked there by Perry, the ball tapped away by Gaurav Segal and cleared by Matthew Perry, Matthew now increasing pace, Matthew Perry, all his players behind him, Matthew Perry will have to take the ball up all by himself, it is still Perry but he's being ridden hard by Gerardo Massini, Gerardo just tucking Perry on the boards and backs the ball, turns play by a little bit and the ball is being picked up by Pacho, Pacho backs the ball, the ball flies up into the air, lands in front of uh, Gaurav Segal once again, Massini clears with a long backhander. Pranav. Pranav. Long backhander from Pranav Kapoor. Rajni Ganda had a chance, but none of the players turning with that backhander. And clearance coming from Gerardo Massini. Once again, we have Padmanav racing towards the grandstand. Just carbon copy of the move that you saw a minute back. Padmanav strikes along the ground. It's a good looking pass. PK is there. PK getting ready to defend with another backhander from PK. And the huge amount of work being done by PK and Gaurav Segal in defense. Again, Perry strikes the ball. Once again lands in the front of Perry. Perry with a lofted backhander. Massini is there. Every time Matthew Perry hits a long shot, you have Massini anticipating and defending that long one. Once again, you have Patmanab, Patmanab and PK converging dangerously on the ball. The umpire is not very happy to see that. That was just like traffic from the roads of Delhi and that's not permitted on a polo field. 60 yard penalty in favor of Rajni Gandhaji was it. Now he's about to strike from the 60 yard mark. Along the ground, it's a weak shot. It's been stopped. And it's been stopped by Kartike. In the deep corner now, Massini. Massini in possession. Gaurav Segal challenging him. Happy Pata. Gaurav with a near side strike and Salim Azmi. It's still Abhimanyu Pata. Abhi Patak and we have Matt Perry who gets the better of him. Matt Perry trying to keep a bouncing ball in control, a bouncing ball. Look at the way the players are leaning out of the saddle. Salim Azmi backs it but it looks like it's going a little wide and great to see that the stands are absolutely full this afternoon ladies and gentlemen. What an exciting level of polo happening in front of you and I'd like to remind you this is the same level that you see in the Polo World Cup Championship. 14 goal polo being played for the Yes Bank Indian Masters. It's Matt Perry now for Rajni Gandha Achievers once again in pursuit of that elusive first goal for his team. It's Matt Perry going into the far deep corner. And the ball gets left behind and it's Massini. Massini turns play for Sona Polo. Charging towards the grandstand. Backhander faked by Gaurav Segal, but you have Padmanap Singh behind him. Padmanap. Keeping the ball in control, Padmanav strikes, PK is there, PK getting ready for a backhander, backs it, Gaurav Segal, Gaurav with a backhander, Salim Azmi. A big round of applause for Pranav Kapoor, PK the big helmet, bearing pain and continuing to perform for his side, this is Matthew Perry once again in possession, he's being hassled there by Abhimanyu Pathak. Abby Patak right in front of Matt Perry and, and Matt strikes the ball just stops under Padmanabh's horse. Abby Patak backs it and Matt Perry turns but Padmanabh on a very quick horse look at the way he wanted to take the ball forward but Matt Perry keeping the ball with him. Matt now turning around it is Matt Perry being pursued by Padmanabh he loses possession Abby Patak is there gets a little bump from Salim Azmi and the ball gets left behind Gaurav Segal Gaurav backs the ball and PK trying to back in. 
but we have Sona Polo with two players and Karthike Singh this time. Karthike, Abby. A look at that pump from Gaurav Sehgal to Karthike Singh. Matthew Perry, Matthew. Lovely shot from Matthew Perry. The horses are charging towards that group of canines there, but their polo dogs are absolutely unmoved and cool in the head themselves. That's Abby Pathak with a backhander. They're having a party of their own. It's Matthew Perry. Matthew with a chance there. Oh, Pantanov defense. And the ball lies right next to the back line. That's a first hooter. Another 30 seconds of play left. Those three dogs are wondering what's this excitement all about. Even as Massini comes with a nice long ball. Gaurav Segal checking his horse. Ready for another backhander. Yet another backhander from Gaurav Segal. Eight seconds left. He'll have to hit a long ball. Pranav Kapoor this time. And Karthike almost over the ball. And there comes the second hooter. We come to the end of chakra number four. Ball at play. Abby Parton overriding. Matthew Perry turns. Abby Parton once again. And the ball goes under the belly of his horse. Matthew Perry picks it up. Matthew Perry gets a big bump from Abby. Abby Manu Parton really, really tenacious on that move. And look at Matthew Perry, back on the ball, like a hungry hawk, and he strikes, it's PK on the ball now, PK, again trying to work with the bounce there, Abhimanyu, overriding, Abhi, Abhi stops, there's uh, Matthew Perry right next to him, and Massini takes off. It is Massini now for Sona Polo. A long hit. Gaurav Segal again steadying up his horse. This time decides to take the ball forward. Doesn't get too much power on it. And it's Massini who cracks the ball towards the goal mouth. Gaurav Segal with his last chance to defend for Rajdiganda achievers. And you have Karthike who also gets a hit. A big bump from Pranav Kapoor, no signal and a backhander turns play for Rajni Ganda and it's Matt Perry who hits it up this time but chance there for Rajni Ganda and Matt Perry even as uh, Abhimanyu Pathak is slightly ahead of Matt Perry there comes Gaurav Segal, Gaurav overriding, all the players overriding there comes Pranav Kapoor, Pranav strikes, the ball is going wide to the right side and Abhi with a chance turns to the right, Matthew Perry once again in possession. Matthew, it is Matt Perry, oh, yes, Matt man. Perry being marked hard by Gerardo, another chance, another backhander from Salim Azmi and yet another clearance this time from Avivan Nupatak, a backhander from Masini, turns play for Sona Polo and you have a clear field in front of Abhiman Nupatak, Abhiman Nupatak decides to turn play towards his right, so look at the way they have shaken off all their opponents, Abhi Nupatak. Abby still controlling. Backhander attempted by Salim, but it's Abhimanyu. Abhimanyu still. Now this time, Pacho. Pacho hooked there by Salim. And it is still Pacho on the ball. It is Pacho hooked by Salim. Gaurav Segal. Gaurav with the backhander. Salim Azmi. Salim leaves it for Matt Perry. Matt Perry strikes it long along the board. Salim Azmi oh, takes no, off. No. There's Padmanabh who checks. And Massini going in for a ride of Massini for a backhander and the ball goes over the boards. Matthew Perry again decides to tap the ball. Gaurav Segal quickly coming behind him in support. Matthew, look at the way Abhimanyu Pathak is hassling him. Matthew Perry increasing pace. Matthew 30 yards from the goal mouth and the ball gets deflected toward the, toward the far side. Gets left behind. Abhimanyu Patak is there raising his mallet. No signal coming from the umpires. Umpires completely unmoved by all the pleas of the players. And the ball takes a deflection. Matthew Perry charges and comes into possession once again. It is Matt Perry on the ball. And Gaurav Segal override. Matt back on the ball. Turning, turning. All the players turning. Karthike Singh strikes. Nice clean shot. Kartike gets a huge bump there from Salim Azmi 
and it is Matt Perry. This time Matt being hassled by Abhiman New Part again. Look at the way Abby has hooked and dispossessed Matt Perry. Thank you. Again, it is Matt Perry in possession. Matt strikes. Just about 30 yards on that shot. We got Gaurav Segal who comes from behind with a double near side pickup. Gaurav Segal in attack for Raji Polo. Gaurav Segal trying to keep a bouncing ball in control. There comes PK from behind, but another backhander from Massini makes them wait even further and further for their first goal. Two and a half minutes of play left in this fifth chapter. And Matt Perry this time for Rajni Ganda as the ball gets left behind once again. Gaurav Segal. Salim Asmi right there. Salim strikes. The ball is going straight as it got the legs. And that is the first goal for Rajni Ganda achievers. Finally, finally we got back towards us. The two umpires, Julio Benzadon and Shamshi Ali, and the match referee is left in Vishal Chauhan on his high perch, keeping a close watch on the proceedings here. Gerardo Massini in attack for Sona Polo. Massini keeps the ball in. Look at the angle of approach of Gerardo Massini. And a lovely defensive work there from Pranav Kapoor. Pacho strikes, it's a strong shot, but the ball is going towards the back line and it stops right there. Matt Perry strikes, Gaurav Segal, Gaurav Segal claiming the line of the ball. It's Padmanabh who strikes a backhander, the ball gets stuck in the turf and Massini turns with it. Massini, Massini picks up the ball and he strikes a long shot, but the ball is flying over the back line. Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry strikes. Salim Azmi is there. Salim slowing down. Gaurav Segal picks up the ball now for Rajni Ganda. Gaurav strikes a lovely shot from Gaurav Segal. And the ball goes over the sideboard. That's going to be a hit. It's a spot hit for Sona Polo. Gerardo Massini getting ready to strike the ball. It's his Gerardo. Gerardo strikes it's a strong shot. Looking for his forwards. Abhimanyu Patek is there. So is Karthik Singh. That's Abhi Patek and Salim Azmi. Abby working really, really hard and clearance coming from Matt Perry with a belly shot. Strikes the ball under the belly of his own, own horse, takes it away from the danger zone. And Abhimanyu Patak has a chance. Once again, Salim defending. Pacho, Pacho with the ball now. Pacho, Pacho approaching the goal mouth. Gaurav Segal. Gaurav. Gaurav. Abhimanyu. Salim Azmi checks his horse. Salim. Still Salim. And look at the way Massini is just not giving him any space. He picks up the ball with the near side shot. And that is the second hooter, which also marks the end of chapter number five. Of the medical court. And that's why we are eternally grateful to the Army Medical Court. They resume for the sixth and final chapter. And players getting together once again. Massini with the backhander. That ball just deflects. Players all getting together, trying to make a move. Sona trying for their fifth goal. And Massini strikes once again. And the flag goes out of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Sona Polo continuing to dominate the proceedings this afternoon. Performing here in front of you, including many top professional players. And this year is no different. Players once again fighting hard to get possession. There is uh, Padmanabh now. Padmanabh moving up for Sona Polo. Abby Pata comes from behind. Strikes. Doesn't get a clean strike. Matthew Perry is there. A backhander from Gaurav Segal. Plays turn, play turns. But uh, Massini picks up the ball. Gerardo Massini. And a whistle. So Massini comes and takes that strike. Devika, you've got to answer this question, okay? Huge strike by Massini. Look at that shot. And what a strike that was. It could have been a spectacular goal. But the ball just falling short in direction and going over the back line. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'd like to put this question to you. All the eight players have their horse tails bandaged. Tails of all horses, except one. 
Which is that player? Oh, player, player, not umpire. Right? And we have another whistle. Matt Perry turning towards his right side and Padmanab Singh following the line of the ball and the umpire not very happy with that move. And there he sounds the whistle. So Abhimanyu takes a swing. His stick doesn't get entangled. Strong shot, way wide, into the chairs there. It's going to be hit in from the back line. And now you can see Salim Azmi. And here he comes. That's a young horse. Salim Azmi is a horse trainer also. And it's a young horse. And he's kept his horse's tail open. There he is. There he is. Right in front of you. You can see that now. Okay. And that's because that's a young horse. This is PK now. Picking up the ball for Rajnigandha Achievers. PK. Near side pickup attempted. Gaurav Segal in front of you. Being marked by two players of the Sona team. They're right in front of you. Let's have some cheering. Oh. A hit there from PK. Another one attempted by Gaurav Segal. Padmanabh over riding. And Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry now. With just over four minutes of play left. Matt Perry strikes. A chance there for Gaurav Segal. But once again it is Bassini who defends with a nice backhander. Matt Perry. Matt. Matt Perry decides to tap the ball. It gets left behind. He's being marked very well by the Sona Polo players. Padmanabh breaks free. Padmanabh breaks free and he strikes a nice long ball. And look at that horse stretch out. Look at that horse stretch out. What speed there. Padmanabh Singh strikes but the ball is heading a little wide. He tried his best and just stopped in time into the chair. So that's the reason why you have a safety zone behind the back line. Okay, quiet hit and taken from the back line by Matthew Perry. Strikes along the ground. Salim Azmi is there. Salim Azmi, this time, just to prove me wrong, he comes on the field with a horse with a tight tail. Good. Backhander attempted by Massini. Gaurav Segal. Gaurav Segal in attack for Rajni Ganda. He is being followed by Padmanabh and there's overriding. PK comes from behind, promotes the ball. Once again, the ball is in front of Gaurav Segal. Chance there for Gaurav and Rajiganta. Gaurav Segal right in front of the goal path and he picks up goal number two. This is a case, a story of too little, too late. Practice, just over two minutes of play left. You can't defy the laws of physics. The horses can run. The backhanders being attempted over and over again. Padmanabh this time on the ball. And Abby Pathak tries to take the ball. There's a big whistle there. Spotted in favor of Rajni Ganda Achievers. <laughs> Matthew Perry strikes. A couple of bounces. Gaurav Segal is there. And a backhander from Massini. Matt Perry once again. Trying to tap and that is... So difficult on a dry field. Padmanabh Singh. Padmanabh in possession. Once again it is Sona Polo. And Sona Polo on the move. Gaurav Segal getting ready to defend with another backhand. And look at the way all these players have been getting their backhanders. Just that when they start taking the ball forward. That's when the bounce becomes very very awkward. Matt Perry. Matt Perry, a lofted shot. This is looking good. This is looking good. Right in front of the goal mound. But Massini says, I'll take it on from there. Strikes the ball towards the stand and suddenly there's activity. Massini. One minute of play left. Five goals to two. I think the fate of this match, the fate of the Yes Bank Indian Masters Trophy, all but sealed. Teams now playing their best. Make that uh, score line a little more respectable. Gaurav Segal tapping once again. The players getting together and the ball goes wide and out of play. Spotted for Sona Polo. Massini once again starts. 10 seconds of play left. Gaurav Segal in possession gets a little bump from Massini. Well, there's a whistle as well and uh, that is the end of the match ladies and gentlemen that scoreboard will remain at five goals to two what a game this has been
complete domination of proceedings by Sona Polo. Five goals to two. Congratulations to the champion Sona Polo for winning the Yes Bank Indian Masters. It's time for you to put your hands together to applaud the new champion the Sona yes Bank Polo Indian Masters Trophy for the year 2018. A big congratulations to Karthike Singh, Savai Padmanabh Singh, Abhimanyu Pathak and Hirado Masini. Ek bar zordar